my friend Trey Ratcliffe and I were chasing a, a lot of fun experiences recently at Disney World. And we wondered, is there a way to share these experiences with other people? And today we're going to meet with uh, Mighty Bell and see just how to do that. <laughs> Who are you? I am Gina Bianchini, and I'm the founder and CEO of Mighty Bell, which I'm very excited to tell you about today. Um, and my background, I, like you, grew up in Cupertino, California. I know, it's very exciting. At a very exciting, awesome period of time in the 70s and the 80s. And then I went to Stanford, and uh, about, gosh, now, 12 years ago? started down this whole entrepreneurial path and I started a company my first company I started was in March of 2000 which was not a great time to start a company um, but we did some really interesting stuff around advertising tracking measurement optimization and then in 2004 I started um, one of the very early social platforms called Ning which gave people a way to create their own social networks for any topic or interest or passion and um, earlier this fall, I started Mighty Bell. We built Mighty Bell under the sort of simple idea that you are what you do and that people of action think big, but everything they do is around acting incrementally or taking a series of small t steps towards that goal or around that topic. And so what we realized was there really wasn't a super simple um, lightweight way for a creator or somebody um, like your friend who climbed Mount Everest um, to actually lay out step by step, day by day, action by action, a series of things for people to do. And then for other people to be able to come in and use that as a very lightweight guide to the things that they care about or the things that are important to them or the things that they want to do. Tell me about Mighty Bell and, and take me into one of these experiences. Absolutely. There is a friend of one of our designers named Tim and Tim is a PhD student at Stanford in aeronautics and this summer he and five of his friends from high school went to Alaska and they basically had this really detailed itinerary they'd put it in Excel and we basically asked him, hey, why don't you try out Mighty Bell and see if it'll work for laying out your itinerary for 10 days in Southeast Alaska. So he basically put together you know, an experience. I then as a user would come to this first page and I would see a little bit of information about Tim. I would see a photo, I would see a video, or it could be a video, but in this case, I'm gonna see a photo, uh, information about what I'll get from it, who's it for, and a little information about Mighty Bell, who's in the experience already, and then if I am excited about, you know, learning more about 10 down and dirty days in Southeast Alaska, I go ahead and I join, and I'm taken to step one. And step one is what you would do if you're going to Southeast Alaska, which is to prepare for, you know, cold, wet conditions, and buy you know, the, five, the 15 essentials you need for this trip. So you buy the essentials, you click the I just did this button, and you go to step two, which is landing in Juno. And in this case, um, it's actually taking advantage of one of the features we have, which is um, something we heard from our creators that once they actually figured out kind of, oh, wait, so I get Mighty Bell. I can basically take a picture of something and then I can actually ask the people who are in this experience on this step to take a picture or take a video as part of the step. And so in this case, you would see, you know, land in Juno and take your best picture of Juno. Yeah. And you only, you only get to take one. And so then you see this gallery, which I can click through to. And in one place is all of the pictures that anyone who's in this experience that has landed in Juno is taking on step two of 10 down and dirty days in Southeast Alaska. Okay. And then I come back and then I can go to step three, which is a kayaking orientation. And along the way, day by day, step by step, I'm doing all this cool stuff. I'm seeing other people who are also giving me 
um, advice and having a conversation about it. The conversation on Mighty Bell is all contextual to that step within that experience. Got it. And our belief is that there's some potentially pretty interesting things that happen when you have that as sort of the structure. And then I can go to the all steps page where I can see in one place all the pieces of 10 down and dirty days in Southeast Alaska. And then when what's gonna be added to this page is when I've completed a step, anything I've added as a private note to myself, how I felt about it or what I thought about it, whether it was inspiring or whether it was totally boring. Um, and then I have a digital record, almost a digital souvenir of this experience and yeah. what I did in it. So I can always go back and say, what did we do again when we went to, you know, step three, the kayak orientation? And then I actually have a record of what I've done right. when I've done it. And then what's nice is because we are um, capturing everything at this really granular day by day, step by step level, we can show as the, as the creator, I can see some pretty interesting metrics. So I can see, you know, a funnel of where people are coming from. Um, are they coming from Mighty Bell? Are they coming from Twitter? Are they coming from Facebook or email or some other source? And who's actually converting? So I can find out, for example, that people who are discovering this experience that are my Twitter followers convert to active, you know, join the experience more than my Facebook friends. If I ran a kayak business in Alaska, I'd want to do one of these so I could get people to come and see yes, me, right? That's right. Um, or if I ran a winery in Napa, I mm -hmm. would want to do one on how to tour Napa. That's and right. What what are the steps to get you there? Or, that's right. Or so on and so forth. Yeah. Um, who and I guess that's who is this for? Right. Is it for me and Trey Ratcliffe? Because we're sort of free spirits. We like to we like to know we're going to be in Disney World for a day, but uh, what happens there is sort of by accident. Right. Almost. For creators, we really think that everybody loves to see the impact of their ideas. And so we actually, you know, took the approach of, you know what, everybody should have access to figuring out like, are there, you know, are their Facebook friends lazy or, you know, are, are people that they sent emails to more likely to come and join this experience? What's actually happening within the context of the steps? Like does, in this example, does step four, is there a problem with step four? And then it, I can see actually how to improve upon it. And then basically that would trigger an email out to everybody. Um, we really think that, that, you know, showing transparently what people are doing, where they're coming from for a creator allows that feedback loop that makes things much more interesting. So that's why we actually think that, that everybody wants to see cool stuff in terms of like, what's the impact they're having. The other sort of part of that question, which I think is really important and really cool is, you know, is this, is Mighty Bell just for people who are in creators who are very highly regimented? You know, that you have to plan a, you know, trip to Alaska in 30 minute increments in your, you know, your travel itinerary. Yeah. Or can you just land in Juneau and see what happens? Mighty Bell is really built for both cases. Because if you're a creator and, you know, you have a lot of followers, you have a lot of friends who are, are you know, keeping up with, you know, your travels in, you know, a combat zone or that you're training for that half marathon, um, you can start an experience and leave it open-ended and just add steps as you go. And people who are in the experience will get notified every time there's a new step. Yeah. The, the thing that I think is so powerful and cool about designing software is that when you add the element and the ingredient of people and you even make just a little, you know, a little change in the, um, you know, the, the settings that you can move from, hey, I, I want to keep this open and, and add experience or add steps as I go versus I want to basically put in place 30 steps and like send it out and I don't have to think about it again. Oh. You actually unlock potential of different things happening with the same code base yep. and that's what makes this stuff so much fun and this could be used for like a thanksgiving dinner absolutely okay and at, at each place on a thanksgiving dinner or a, a ski trip or you know anything we do in life uh some things are should be regimented you know for instance if you go to the white house you need to be there at a certain time to get right. in the tour right that's right uh 
but some things should be open like That's oh right. you have the afternoon free and here's some choices you have to make you know or if you're building thanksgiving dinner here's yeah. some choices you can use oranges or you can use lemons that's right. and and that's why we have that conversation area where somebody can come in and say actually lemons are much better in this than than oranges and and it is structured as you know again day by day step by step so it can be used for recipes um the the fun part is watching what that interaction and what what people do with it so we're really committed to this idea um, and built this product so that you know one person lays it out but what people do with it is up to them yeah what what is the the graph or the thing you're trying to build that's going to turn into a business action how people can take things into their lives as a series of small steps towards the things they care about the action graph <laughs> you know again you are what you do um, what I will look at as like the, the shining moment of success for, for Mighty Bell, and it, it, it is likely a ways off, is you know, when we have the best experience for sitting on your couch for an entire weekend. So I think that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Like what's the way that I can get the absolute, you know, for the people that I trust, the people who I pay attention to, yeah. like what is the way that you can totally disconnect and do nothing? That's just my own personal. That takes too much planning for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I do think yeah. you're, you're tapping into something that I think is really the thing I'm so excited to see where it goes from here, which is, again, just this idea that the next, this next wave of social technology is going to tap into the things and services are going to look to unlock what makes us more engaged, more active, more interesting. And so whether it's you know Quora questions or whether it's Instagram photos and the emotional relationship people have with, with Instagram photos or whether it's Mighty Bell experiences and that opportunity to be able to look out and think big but then know that there's a step, there's a first step to anything and that it's just a matter of, of you know, understanding it and taking it from there. Now that'd be an interesting thing if we could take Instagram and I see that, like this morning I saw somebody post a, a picture of a really cool looking drink and I, I don't know what was in there, but it looked right, cool. Right, right. Um, it'd be cool if I could point at that and say, is there a, mm -hmm. is there a series of actions that could, could right. lead to this right. experience? That'd be yeah. awesome. That would be... Are you thinking about that? How to lead people into this experience? We, we have some ideas. Or this action world? Yeah, I mean, we have some ideas. I mean, this action world is real life. And if you think about, you know, how people live their lives, it's, you know, it's a series of, of decisions and a series of small steps. And we think there's some really interesting things um, to be done, whether it's, you know, I, I think your idea is a fantastic one, which is, you know, you're inspired by something out in the web that you see or something you find on your mobile phone. There's also all sorts of interesting things that can be done if, for example, um, you know, you show up in a, in a new town and, you know, or at a, a winery in Napa, you know, and an experience is pushed to you that might be actually the wine tasting. So you can pay right there and be off to the races. And then you have a record of like the different wines you tasted and what you thought about them and you're off to the races. Now, again, sorry, I'm saying off to the races so often. Apparently I need to go to the, to the track. Um, but what's really nice about that is you know there's deep deep you know apps that exist for wine connoisseurs yep. i'm not a wine connoisseur but i'm probably going to be doing you know other things or have other interests and so if there's a lightweight way for me to you know have an experience pushed to me there might be cool things there we will yep. see what well, you know i i'm definitely humble enough to know that you know when you launch something new you really never know how people are going to use it, it um I don't know how much you've thought about the potential business model or if you're going to give me the answer Twitter gave me for three years, which is we're just building an audience and we'll figure that out later. But I, I have a feeling there's a lot of monetization that could be done here. When you get audiences of people who are doing things, that generates transactionality and causes all sorts of fun yeah. monetization models, right? Yeah, so we're starting day one with the ability for a creator to decide if they want to create their experience and make it free and available to anybody, um, or premium, 
meaning that you know people would come in and pay for access. And we'll see how that gets used. But obviously, at that point, we're doing a, a revenue share um, of you know every transaction. We also think that there's some interesting things around the the metrics that we offer, and so you know how we can offer people more and more interesting metrics that allow them to do some cool stuff, whether it's as a as an individual who cares and and wants to you know learn more about you know how to create great experiences um, or businesses that that actually could see potentially you know ways of engaging their you know their their most active and interesting you know customers are finding new customers yeah um, I, I also think that you know so if, if premium experiences is, is number one you know other things we can unlock for creators is, is kind of number two whether that's around metrics or other features that they could pull into their experiences on Mighty Bell the third area is really around commerce and specifically you know as as I think about it um, the times that I actually end up buying stuff is when I'm embarking on a new experience yeah. so whether that's you know a Saturday afternoon of attempting to make like an eight hour stew is probably going to be the time where I know I have to like go down to the store and not only get food but also get you know the right equipment to training for a, a you know my first triathlon which I'm neither training for nor have done <laughs> um, when that's probably going to be the time that I buy shoes or buy and new clothes bike. And, and a bike and, and a so <laughs> we think that there's some some cool stuff we can do yeah. Um, you know, relatively soon that makes this idea of, you know, getting the essentials um, kind of just really seamlessly integrated into a Mighty Bell experience. And we think that's not only good for, you know, Mighty Bell, but that's really like, I don't want to have to think about, you know, doing hours and hours of research when I wake up and decide, you know, I'm going to, I have a, a death wish to run and bike and swim in a, in a triathlon. Um, I don't want to have to think about it. I want to. I want to look to people and brands that I trust, get the essentials, and be on my way to to the next steps in the experience. Um, how are you guys funded? We raised a small seed round um, in the fall, so late last year, and um, it was led by Floodgate, uh, Mike Maples, and Anne Morocco, who are fantastic and first round capital and Founders Collective and a number of other angels participated in it, so. Very cool. Yeah. And you're out now, so. Where We're do we, out now. Where do we uh, learn more about it? Mightybell.com. And are you guys on Twitter and Facebook as well? Or? We are, as yeah. Mighty Bell and Mighty Bell. Very cool. And the in the Apple App Store as well. Very cool, thank you. Thank you.